I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. Um, I was the oldest of five children. I had four younger brothers. I always wanted to be a scientist. I knew that you know, stating hypotheses and answering them was just in my DNA. I've wanted that my entire life. So I was a biomedical engineering major at NJIT for college. I became interested in neural networks. I also learned about these huge holes in our understanding, these gaping holes in what we know and can do for patients with certain diseases, and specifically the disease of cancer. So it, it turns out we have not significantly moved the goalpost for patients with brain cancer in a very long time. Uh, and, and that struck me as a huge problem that needed to be addressed. That's when I decided I would marry this interest in the brain and neuroscience with this huge gap in cancer and try to devise new solutions to that problem. I am specifically interested in the pathways that get turned on when normal brain cells turn and become cancerous. And so I became interested in oncogenes, the proteins that become mutated like BRAF and cause a cancer to form and how we can turn them off specifically in ways that will cause the brain cancer to shrink away and die. So I'm fortunate enough to work with a team that is made up of trainees. And so they all work together either in my lab with our tumor models or with patient data. It's an interesting experience to get a PhD, for example, like I have, and become an expert, super specialized in one particular area. And then as you start to go along, you realize that there are additional skill sets that I just don't have. And you know, take another four years as a PhD to acquire them wouldn't be very practical. And so you make friends along the way. We work together with the clinical trials group and bringing all of them together, working side by side, I think is where the biggest advancement is going to be in the field of cancer research in the future.